What's up guys, Enrique Medellin here, PRG Real Estate, coming at you from the home office with another episode of Commission Only. And the topic I wanted to talk about today, guys, was really uh, what we can be doing with our time right now, where things are sort of slowing down uh, or at a slower pace right now during this whole coronavirus and shelter in place. If you're like me and many agents all over you know, the country, uh, things have just slowed down, right? There's not as many transactions happening. Uh, or there's a lot of buyers and sellers who are saying, hey, I want to wait until, you know, until things calm down. Uh, that's definitely happening, right? So, you know, we're working hard right now to try to generate as much business as we can and talking to more people. But uh, for a lot of people, it is a slower time. We have more time on our hands than we normally would simply because we're working from home uh, or the amount of volume is not there as, as we normally would have. So uh, I want to talk about today of what you can be doing with your time right now while it's a bit slower for a lot of people. So I first off want to establish, guys, that this downtime that we have, uh, it's actually an opportunity. It's an opportunity where we can really focus on working on our business instead of working in our business like we normally are. You know, when you're working on your business, that's when you're out with clients, prospecting, doing all the things for the day to day. When you're working on your business, that's when you're taking a step back and maybe working on things that are going to help uh, improve your business such as systems and policies and procedures and all that so a big part of what we're working on during this time is just really tightening up our systems and just going deeper with a lot of our systems and cleaning stuff up that we may not have had time to do in the past so why are systems important guys um, any big business any business that is producing at a high level guys is built off of duplicatable and sustainable systems you know if if every time you work with a client or every time you, you do your job, you're doing it different every single time, it's something that you're not going to be able to replicate. You're not going to be able to scale at large. So having systems and procedures in place of how you run and operate your business is extremely important so that you can grow and catapult uh, your business. Um, and, and when the systems are built, then the business isn't solely relying on you and all of your efforts. It's relying on the systems. Uh, to help you know keep the business going and keep producing and, and scale at a high level so um, Some of the systems guys just some ideas of what you can be working on right now are two of the things that we're we're working on so one of them is our lead management system and you know we do different types of online marketing uh, different platforms where we get leads from and even if you're just getting referrals or open houses however you're generating leads or prospects for people who want to buy and sell uh I recommend, and it's extremely important, that you have some sort of lead management system, right? That's the exact policy or outline of when a lead comes in, what do you do with that lead? Are you entering that into a, a CRM? Are you using spreadsheets? How do you handle that lead from the initial inquiry to when you set an appointment to meet with that lead? What happens after you meet with that appointment? What are the things you are doing to try to convert that lead at a high level? And then once that client uh, decides to work with you and commits to, to working with you, what are you doing after that to ensure that the client is being serviced at a high level and to ensure that none of the steps are, are, are getting lost, nothing is being uh, is slipping through the cracks, everything, uh, you're giving the same service, the same level of service, the same experience to every single client or lead uh, every single time. So lead management system, guys, that's extremely important. It's something where you can take this downtime and really just map out a game plan of what you're gonna do every single time you get, you get a lead. Um, what happens when we get a lead a lot of times is the client may not be ready to transact. They may make an initial inquiry and they may be three months, six months, a year out. So how are you gonna ensure that that client uh, remembers who you are? How are you gonna stay top of mind? And what are you gonna to do to uh, convert that lead in the long run, right? So that's what the lead management policy is all about. We're going deep into our CRM that we use. We use FirePoint. Uh, there's a lot of great CRMs out there, but we're just really going in there and cleaning up the whole system, making sure every lead is categorized. Every lead is on a search for, for properties if, we're, if they're looking to buy, if they're potential sellers, making sure they know what their home value is and keeping them updated on that. Uh, putting in some automation where there's auto texts and emails and things that go out periodically on our behalf uh, so that the client never forgets who we are, right? This is, this is automation. These are this is now letting the system do a lot of the work for you um, so that you can convert at a high level. So that's the lead management system that we're working on. The other thing, guys, that, that we're working on, and, and this is an opportunity for, for anyone out there, is your client servicing aspect uh, of your business, right? So uh, when you get a client in contract, you know, whether it's a buyer that enters into a contract or whether it's a, a listing agreement that you sign, 
what are the steps that you are taking afterwards to ensure that the client is getting the highest level of service, right? So for us, we've developed uh, different checklists and we use uh, you know, a system called Trello where we manage all of our processes. Um, so if it's a listing, there's you know, probably 20 or 30 steps that have to happen once we sign a listing agreement just to get that property onto the market. And then once we're in contract, there's another series of steps that come into play. So we're now going back into our system and really just cleaning that up, seeing where the holes are there, where can we improve, where can we make it better, what stuff that we need to take out, what stuff that we need to add in, right? And this is, this is now working on this, this system so that when this whole shelter in place thing is over and the volume of transactions starts picking up, we will now be prepared to handle all of this business, right? To handle a lot more business and we can scale you know, by adding more agents to our team or increasing the volume of leads that we get, we'll be able to scale this thing because we are building a solid foundation. So there's, there's a lot that we can talk about, guys, when it comes to building systems, but I really just want to give you guys an idea of what some of the things are that you can be working on during this time. If you have more time on your hands, use this time to work on your business, to build systems that are going to catapult you forward. If you guys need any help, uh, if you want to see some of our checklists, I'm more than willing to, to share those with you. Uh, I'm also offering, you know, a free strategy call. If you want to jump on a call with me and just talk and, and kind of discuss your business and I'll share what we're doing, what you're doing, and just to see how we can help you, each other out. I'm definitely open to that. There'll be some links in, in the description, guys. So I hope this information finds you well. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you soon.